And he says, can we put the tides controlling the moon guy in charge of Brexit negotiations, please? <laughs> it's, 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 Onwards and upwards. Professor Hall is here, back from his Russian sojourn and uh, newly or re ensconced as the Professor of Public Understanding of Science at the University of Brighton. Professor Hall, question or answer? Um, I'd like to discuss the, um, the tides and the moon question, oh, if I may. Oh, no. Um, and I was delighted when you said it's not on a piece of string because yeah. it's directly analogous to a, a stone on a piece of string. Yeah, and it isn't that much of a stupid question. I know, all right then, go on. Okay, and I know this in particular because on the way to Russia, on the way back, I was reading a delightful book called The Ascent of Gravity by Marcus Chown, oh. which I would recommend to Mystery Hour followers because it's very, very readable. And anything else, you, anything else you'd recommend at the moment? Um, actually, your book. Oh, four no. quid. Four quid no. on Amazon's Black Friday, mate. But obviously oh, I... you should support your local bookshop as well. Or no, in fairness, I was in... Um... Smiths in Victoria, and it wasn't on the um, the chart, and I was disappointed to know, but I did find it in Waterstones in Red Hill. So. That's outrageous. Smiths haven't gone big on it, and Sainsbury's have. I, the, the world of publishing a book is absolutely baffling to me. Is it, 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 Amazon reduce it if it's selling well. You'd think it would kind of be the other way around. You'd reduce it if it wasn't selling well, so you could knock out loads of them, wouldn't you? Yeah, yeah, I completely agree. But there we anyway, go. Anyway, carry on. The gravity. Carry on. So interestingly, um, Newton his, and his um, apple analogy, he only actually spoke about that long, long after he'd written Princi Principia Mathematica. So mm. it's one of those things that he sort of, if, he if only he thought of it at the time.